It was 2017, I just got back from school, I slumped on my bed, I opened up Instagram on my phone. I was scrolling through, came across this ad from a guy named Imma. This 17 year old high school dropout talking about making 30, 50, $80,000 a month online in profit. I was hooked, I signed up for the webinar, I bought the program with the last money in my bank account, and then over the next two years, I made over $460,000 with social media marketing. And here is what I learned. First of all, let's talk about the business model itself of social media marketing and building an agency. Initially, when I got into it, I was just a glorified freelancer. I was making videos, walking around, calling myself an agency, even though it was just me and an editor that I found on Upwork. As soon as I finished high school, I went straight into making video content for local businesses. And I would shoot pretty much anything. I would shoot real estate videos, corporate videos, videos for cars, videos for weddings. I would do absolutely anything as long as they would pay me. And I was having a bit of success. I was hitting 10, 15, 20K month revenue as a freelancer. And so a lot of that was profit because it was my time that I was putting in. But then COVID hit and all of my local business clients shut up shop and they didn't need my services anymore because when they can't bring customers into their business, why would they spend money on video marketing services? This is when a friend of mine introduced me to the idea of making video ads for e-commerce brands instead, because when everybody's at home scrolling on their phone, e-commerce brands continue to grow. And so I quickly pivoted, I made some rapid changes and I started reaching out to e-commerce brands and got my first client within 48 hours of starting to do outreach. Over the next year and a half, I ended up working with over a hundred different e-commerce brand clients, making over 2000 UGC video ads for them and helping them improve their revenue on Facebook and Instagram ads. And so the first key takeaway I got from the agency model is that it can be a very lucrative, high profit model when done right. When I was building an agency, I was building a creative agency and I underestimated how much would go into making video ads at scale. I think a lot of people online talk about building a very lean agency focusing on media buying or running Facebook ads or doing local lead gen. And so what you can do in that situation is have a very small team. You can have a media buyer, maybe a couple of virtual assistants that help you with operations. But for me, running a creative agency, I had video editors, I had script writers, I had talent managers, I had all these people working to create video ads and plan and put them together for our clients. And so it was quite this big operation. I think we had 12 people working in the agency at one time was the most we ever got to. And there was a lot going on. So my first key takeaway, if you wanna build an agency, it's to keep things simple and lean. Focus on delivering a results driven service that certain clients absolutely need. You don't have to appeal to everyone. You don't have to do media buying for every business online. And don't just do media buying for e-commerce brands, be more specific. Have something unique about your offer. If you want some more info on building an irresistible offer, the number one resource that I found was the $100 million offers book by Alex Hamozzi. Absolutely changed my life, completely changed my outlook on building an amazing offer and also improved my sales skills. Now I was building an agency where I had a service that people actually wanted. So the agency business model is great if you can have a compelling offer, you can keep it simple and you can deliver a results driven service. As soon as I made the switch from making videos for everybody, making UGC video ads for e-commerce brands advertising on Facebook, instantly I was able to narrow it down and bring on so many more new clients. The second major area I want to touch on is the lifestyle of running an agency. And when I first found Iman and he was pitching this whole agency lifestyle, it looked amazing, it looked like a whole lot of freedom that I definitely wanted as a 17, 18 year old, ready to sink my teeth into online business and build something of my own. But I didn't really live up to that whole relaxed lifestyle. You know, the team structure, it got quite big, but it didn't really live up to that whole relaxed lifestyle, unfortunately. Maybe it was just the offer I was selling, being a creative offer and had a lot more moving pieces than say a traditional media buying offer, but I never got Got to the point where I could really completely step away from the agency and it would op grow without me. Sure, there were weeks where I didn't really have to do anything client wise, but I was so focused on acquisition, on building new systems and doing all those things that I never really took some time off and step back and just let the agency run. 
So I think that's something to think about when you're building an agency is understanding why you're doing it and what you're getting into it for. If you just wanna build a five to 10K a month in profit agency and keep your life very relaxed and very simple, not have to focus on constantly grinding and building new systems and growth all the time, then it's a great model. It's something you can definitely do. Or if you wanna go the other way and build an agency that you're constantly involved and in growing it and investing in all these new systems and growing it with different acquisition methods, cold email or paid ads or referrals, all these different ways to do it, then it's also a good model as well because I found that I learned a lot growing an agency. A lot of things that I wouldn't have learned if I just stuck to building e-commerce brands, which is what I do now. If I skipped that part of my life, which was agency focused, I don't think I would have had as many great skills that I do now and be able to grow certain brands as fast as I could now or have certain sales skills that I didn't have otherwise because I chatted with hundreds of different potential clients on Zoom calls, maybe even over a thousand plus while building an agency. So all those little skills that I picked up, writing great marketing copy, how to create a great video ad, how to pitch someone on a sales call, how to have great organization and cold acquisition systems so you can get clients on demand. All of these things were really awesome skills I found that I can apply in different areas of business now. So if you're looking for a business model that gives you a really laid back lifestyle, just make sure you set up the agency in the correct way. Otherwise you go down the path I went down, I was almost burning myself out constantly and I was really grinding nonstop just to keep growing the agency and keep pushing it because I thought that's what a successful agency was. If you just come into it with the mind frame of having a five to 10K a month profit agency delivering simple service with a great team structure and keeping it very lean, I think the agency model can be amazing. And then the last thing I wanna talk about is income. For me, the most I was ever able to get my agency to was just over $30,000 in a single month in revenue. And I hit that a few times, but in terms of overall consistency, it was averaging about 15 to 20K a month for the majority of my time running that agency. And the cool thing is you can still see the website. I still have it live. I tried to take it down, but it's still active. And so you can go and have a look at the service, the kind of clients we worked with, see the kind of video ads that we made. All of it is there on the website. And so building an agency did give me a level of financial freedom to move out of home into my own apartment. It allowed me to buy things when I wanted to or have a really nice laptop or a good desk set up. You know, just general day-to-day -day things, I didn't really have to worry about the price tag. I did have that level of financial freedom, but it definitely wasn't the level that I wanted to get to. And it wasn't like I was making ridiculous amounts of money every single month where I could go and travel full-time or live in these expensive villas or all these things that Iman was doing at the time. I just wasn't able to get to that level with the agency model. So that's my story of going from a teenager with absolutely no idea to making over $450,000 building a social media marketing agency in a two year window. And so if you're considering building an online business and you're wondering if the agency model is right for you, hopefully this video has given you some context into my story, why I like the agency model, why I don't like it for some reasons, but ultimately, hopefully it's gonna help you make the right decision for you. If you're thinking about building an agency, I've actually collated all of the templates that I built out in Notion while running my old agency, and I've collated it into something called Agency OS. If you want it, just click the link in the description. It's free, I'll give it to you. You can just duplicate it into your own Notion and just use all the systems that I built for my agency. You can use it for yours. I've got client trackers in there, roadmaps. I've got task managers. Everything is built out, ready to go. So you can plug and play and sort of get that kickstart with your own agency. Thank you for spending your time with me on this video and I'll see you in the next one.